Welcome back to Online Video Student and another one of our Internet of Things videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wemo Mini. This Wi-Fi smart plug will allow you to control the power from any outlet, turning it on, turning it off. It'll connect to your home Wi-Fi. It's accessible and usable with almost any device, including Amazon Echo and Google Home. Looking in the package, you'll see that it's a very simple device. It's pretty much a plug and an on-off button. The instructions for the device are very simple. Get the application, plug in the device, set it up on your phone, get connected, configure it, personalize it, and you're done. One of the first things you'll notice about the plug is it does have a three-prong connector, and it requires a three-prong connector when plugged into the wall. Let's set it up. It's pretty simple. When you plug it in, you'll see the light, and then it will start blinking. This goes on for about 30 seconds, and then you'll start seeing a blinking white to amber and back and forth. This tells you that the device is ready to be set up and ready to be connected to the Wi-Fi network. At this point, you want to get out your phone and open up your Wi-Fi settings. When you open your Wi-Fi networks, you will see a new one. It'll be called Wemo Mini. This is actually the switch putting out its own Wi-Fi network so that you can connect to it, set it up on your home network without any trouble. Next, you're going to open the Wemo application. And if you've never set up any Wemo devices on your network before, you'll need to do a few extra things. First off, it'll ask you to enter your email address. Once you've done that, the Wemo application will discover Wemo devices on your home network and then ask you to set up your home network if it's not already set up. You simply enter the password for your home network and the Wemo application connects to your Wi-Fi. Then it discovers any Wemo devices on your home network. And then it sets up the remote access elements from the Wemo application to the device. This is how the application will show you, and it'll show all the Wemo devices here. There's a button beside every device that is simply an on off button. Clicking it turns the device on or off. You can alter the settings for the Wemo device, such as its name. One thing to remember when naming things is that this is also the name that you are going to use to interact with the device from Amazon Echo or Google Home. Next up, there's rules. This is the scheduling element, or it's the timer element. Let's set up a schedule. Since I'm setting this up for my home TV, I want the power to come on at a certain time, we'll say 6 a.m., and go off at a certain time so that it's not using power all night long. I'll also set up the days that I want it to be running, And then I can actually give the rule a name. This can be a very specific name so that I'm able to see what the rule is about without having to open it up. In this area, there's also the auto timer. This will allow you to turn off the device after a set specified amount of time. You can use one of the presets or you can use the custom timer. You can tell it what days of the week you want this timer to be active, and you can also give it a name. Under More, you'll be able to find information about the settings of the device, and you'll also be able to use other things such as If Then Then That, connected to a Nest device, and connected to Amazon Alexa. Let's do that. It opens the Amazon Alexa, and we search for the skill Wemo. We enable the skill. And then Amazon Echo asks us to connect to the Wemo. This is a unique setting. It gives us two minutes to go to the Wemo device and turn it off or turn it on 
as verification that we have the right and have access to the device to be able to do it. Once you do that, it confirms it, lets you know that it's confirmed, and then Alexa will look across your network and find all of your Wemo devices and automatically add them to the application. You're all set for Amazon Echo. Alexa, turn off the living room TV. OK. Alexa, turn on the living room TV. OK. And that's all there is to setting up the Wemo Wi-Fi smart plug. This device will work with just about any of your appliances, although you do want to make sure you check the configuration and the specification so you don't try to overpower it and blow it out. I've included a link in the video description so you can check the device out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Please leave us a comment. We'd especially like to hear from you with suggestions on future videos. And of course, please subscribe. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.